All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Jay, back again on another day, here to convey what my spirit has to say. And uh, in this video, I'm doing another transit of the day. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you know, because I mean, I pretty much started like the transit of the days because I feel like, you know, uh, the transits are like one of the most important parts of astrology to me. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, I feel like I said it already, but it's like uh, esoteric weather, right? You know what I'm saying? So we can kind of like uh, get an understanding of how the uh, energies of like, you know, uh, this this um, reality that we're in is kind of uh, what, what it's really going to be um, about during that time, right? Um, you know, and even like with your natal chart, I feel like, you know, like the alignments, um, you know, kind of how things are angling you and your energies in general, you know, the signs and houses and all of that, you know, like, um, so we can just get a better understanding of like, I feel like, you know, with the alignments, it goes deeper with who we are, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can have knowledge, just great knowledge of self or knowledge of our energies when it comes to our natal chart. But like, when we start getting into like the alignments and stuff like that of our natal chart and how things are angling us, that's how we really get detailed, you know, and really start having, you know, uh, some serious like um, synchronicities and epiphanies about who we are and like how that correlates to how we've been before and like now how we can um, reconstruct ourselves, you know, to kind of better use our energies you know, in the best of ways, right? Um, so, but in this one, I'm going to be talking about like a few different things. Uranus and going retrograde, you know what I'm saying? Like kind of one of the outer planets going retrograde, um, which is going to happen tomorrow on Saturn Day on the 15th. Today is the 14th. Um, so, yeah, let's get right into it, right? Pretty much, you know, like today, I feel like um, I haven't, um, I, I know the moon is almost about um, into Cancer at this time. Um, so, yeah, you know, we're going to have the moon in Cancer today. Um, we're going to have that for the next uh, few days, you know, probably until like either late, late uh, Sunday or like early, <clears throat> early on Monday. <clears throat> but yeah, you know, so we're really going to be in a like very caring energy, you know what I'm saying? Very emotional during this time. Like this is where we're going to be reacting and responding to our emotions and stuff like that, right? And like pushing out emotions, cardinal, uh, cardinal water, right? So we're definitely going to be like trying to create our own vibe for things or put our own uh, feelings and emotions on things, you know, and trying to create, create an atmosphere, you know, so like cancer energy is very like, you know, uh, big on like creating an, ap an atmosphere, right? So we're definitely be trying to create an atmosphere so for ourselves. Or if things aren't like, you know, matching what we're uh, feeling at this time, but things are pushing us out of our uh, you know, emotional body and stuff like that, like, I feel like, yeah, we, we can definitely, um, we're definitely going to be probably fighting that, you know what I'm saying? Definitely because like, this is also going to be squaring Mars at this time. You know, we have Mars and Aries. So, yeah, I feel like it's a super uh, important time to kind of like, you know, not let your emotions get the best of you. Uh, really have control of your emotions, whatever things that you need to do. Uh, cancer energy, I feel like in itself, you know, shout out to Moon Day. Moon Day, I feel like, or the moon in general, I feel like that's a great energy for like meditation and uh, things like that. So whatever you need to do to uh, get your emotions in order and stuff like that, or just watch out, you know, for your, for your emotions getting too out of hand, you know, because that square with uh, Mars and Aries, we can definitely get like super aggressive, super passionate, and like super just um, warlike energy when it comes to if our emotions are getting thrown off or people are trying to, you know, throw our vibe off and stuff like that, right? So that's just something to watch out for, you know, because we definitely got to watch out for like, you know, getting washed up, you know, I feel like that's why, you know, the transits are important as well, you know, so we can kind of know how things are going to be and then we can, you know, try to ride the right uh, frequencies and vibrations that we need to be riding during that time, you know, or if we're um, doing the opposite of what we should be doing during this time, you know, it's probably going to uh, cause us to be up under the uh, currents and stuff like that. And um, yeah, nobody wants to uh, deal with those type of things, you know, we all need lessons and stuff like that, but I'm just saying, you know, we're trying to use all these different things to help us out, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like a cheat code, you know, or just so we can kind of be aware of what's going to be coming and stuff like that, right? Um, but yeah, so that's going to be that. And then like, um, yeah, you know, dealing with Uranus, you know, um, before I get into that a little bit, um, you know, we're going to have like, you know, Uranus is in Taurus right now, right? Um, and, you know, Uranus is kind of like, to me, like that, uh, like individual, individualistic freedom or individualistic liberty. You know what I'm saying? Just truly like being an individual and like truly like, uh, I feel like, you know, Uranus in itself, even like the Aquarian energy can kind of like represent like um, your higher self to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I feel like Uranus is kind of like that mad scientist, right? Um, you know, kind of like order and chaos, you know, like that, that the Aquarian energy, you know what I'm saying? With dealing with the Saturn, um, you know, bringing the order and then the chaos, you know, um, you know, but, you know, chaos, you don't have to let chaos thing bad, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you have to be on that. I mean, how, how is the Uranus energy, you know, how is Uranus that like mad scientist, right? Kind of look at it as the mad scientist and it's like, 
know, sometimes you got to be chaotic and, exper and experience and experiment, you know what I'm saying? Really do all these different experiments, you know, people may be like, that's real chaotic, but it's like, that's how you truly start to tap into some real alchemy and some stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? You really start just listening to your higher self, your intuition and, you know what I'm saying, things like that. You're never going to know, like, what's really out there, you know what I'm saying? I feel like the 11th house deals with the unknown, right? Um, so you're never really going to know what's out there unless you truly ex uh, experiment, just try different things, you know, real innovative and uh, real out, out of the box, real left field type stuff, right? Um, but yeah, you know, we're, we're going to have this um, squaring Mercury and the sun during this time, you know? So I feel like, you know, one of the biggest things is like you may really find yourself saying a lot, oh, like, oh, that wasn't me. Or, or you know, I, saying that, you know, that, you know, find yourself just in a very like that wasn't me type energy, right? So it's super important to get in tune with yourself and to truly listen to your higher self and your intuition. Uh, during these times, I feel like it's super important. You know, while we have the sun and Mercury and Leo, you know, squaring Taurus, you know, which is they're both fixed energies, you know, and they'll, 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 they'll be squaring each other, you know. So it's super important to kind of truly get in tune with your individual self, right? Um, but yeah, and then as well, you know, like I said, you know, Uranus is going to be going retrograde, right? So I feel like, <clears throat> you know, with the outer planets, it's a little different, you know, retrogrades and stuff like that. It's going to be a lot different than like a, a Mercury retrograde, I'd say. You know, Mercury retrograde probably brings a lot of, um, it's, pretty, it's very hard for people to uh, kind of get with those energies, right? Or it's pro probably going to be like, you're going to feel the effects a lot more, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, of the like slow, slow down energy or like reversal type energy and stuff like that. Or, you know, very like retrospective type energy, right? Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, even with the outer planets dealing with Uranus, I feel like, you know, when it's going to go retrograde, I feel like this is really just kind of going to kind of slow things down, you know, when it comes to like our individual selves, you know, or just like pretty much just make it that much harder to get in tune with ourselves and that much harder to, um, get with that individualistic energy, right? So we're definitely going to be like seeing where we're going wrong with being an individual in all aspects, you know what I'm saying? And like, you know, with the houses, that's going to, whatever house you have in transiting is probably, you're going to feel that effect even more, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, yeah, you know what I mean? If you have like, uh, probably transiting your first house, you know, a lot of individual uh, problems, you know what I'm saying? Like personal things, like where you were going wrong and stuff like that, or, you know, the things that you were valuing too much, you know, dealing with the second house, like, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, if you, if you didn't, if you weren't putting your, your individual, uh, things out there, you know, like the, your individual values and stuff like that, like you're definitely gonna be seeing where you're going wrong with your values in terms of as an individual, you may be, uh, valuing other people's, uh, things and stuff like that, you know, like you may not have your own values, you know, so you're definitely going to be feeling that type of energy, you know, or, uh, you know, like in your surroundings, you know, things have been throwing you off as an individual in your surroundings, you know, kind of getting that in order, what has been throwing you off, what do you need to do to, to, um, rectify these issues and stuff like that, right? Or even like, you know, your, your home issues and stuff like that, you know? Um, you know, the things that really make you comfortable, you know, the people that are around you in your safe space or whatever you call home to you, you know, things that secure and make you feel secure and stuff like that, you know, um, as an individual, you know? Um, or even like, you know, your creative endeavors and stuff like that, you know, or just, like I said, whatever house you have, have it transiting, you're definitely going to be feeling these effects even more, you know, like uh, where you could be going wrong as an individual, you know, or how you need to rectify your issues as an individual. Just um, that individualistic energy is definitely going to be in the air uh, right now a lot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, definitely why it's going retrograde, you know? Um, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's going to be a definite big time of like, it's going to be really like fight or flight. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I feel like the outer planets really don't play. You know what I'm saying? Um, especially like Pluto, Saturn, um, even Neptune, you know, can deal with like on the bad side, you know, you can get, get caught up in illusions and people can get caught up in illusions probably their whole life. Um, but yeah, when it comes to Uranus, this is like, you know, I feel like, those are like a lot of change. So like on that, on that, on that aspect, it's going to, it's really going to change things. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're not being an individual, it's really going to show you how, like it's really going to bring it to you, you know, in a hard way. Like you, you need to change to be your true self. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, the outer planets really don't play. So I feel like while this is going retrograde, it's really going to be a time of fight or flight, you know, or it's really going to be a time if you've seen, okay, yeah, I was definitely not um, doing what I needed to do. I was definitely wasn't being myself. I definitely wasn't, um, you know, like I said, doing the things that you need to do to be your true individual self, because, you know, true individuality, I mean, true spirituality is individuality, you know? Um, so, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You definitely got to start tapping into yourself, you know, your intuition, your higher self, things like that, you know? Um, you know, because while, you know, a little bit about, you know, Uranus and Taurus, it's definitely going to be a big time of, like, um, you know, we can, we can already see it playing out and stuff like that, you know? Like, a time where people have to get real innovative and creative, 
and real uh, left field and out of the box. You know, like people definitely have to get out of that box, out of the magic square when it comes to like creating income for yourself. You know, that's one big thing I feel like, you know, kind of deals with Taurus energy. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, I have, you know, Taurus values and like what would be have like what kind of resources do you have and things like that you know what i'm saying so it's definitely gonna be a big time of like creating uh, income for ourselves in very innovative ways like we have we got to like start new like you know what i'm saying oh nobody's ever thought about this before or, like we definitely got to start tap i suppose it's super important to tap into your higher self your intuition listen to your spirit because it has the answers that we need you know what i'm saying um because yeah you know what i'm saying i feel like you know i've talked about a little bit of before in one of my other videos like the um uh, video is that yeah, like what time to be alive, maybe like part two or whatever. It's just like, um, I, I, we can already see it. Like, I see it, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people are like growing their own food and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's like kind of like that Taurus energy, you know? Like, I have like resources. So people are really like, a lot more people are really understanding that we, we do have to grow our own food. You know, for a lot of different reasons. We don't want to get into everything, you know? But it's like, uh, it's super important, you know, you can grow your own food organically. You know what you're supposed you're putting on your food, you know, you know, it's probably not um, getting sprayed with all type of different things and stuff like that, right? Um, so you, you control that, you control your values, you control your resources, you know what I'm saying, as an individual, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then, like, you know, uh, the Taurus energy can definitely deal with, like, comfort, right? And, um, yeah, Uranus, it doesn't really like that, you know what I'm saying? Or it likes to be very um, out there and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, the comfortability energy, because, I mean, like, you know, the opposite of Taurus is Scorpio, right? And Scorpio is actually exalted in Uranus, you know what I'm saying? Like, Scorpios are truly the individual, you know, they're, they're really individualistic, you know what I'm saying? That's why I think, like, Scorpios and Aquarius, they can get along very well, or it can be, you know, a very, uh, uh, it can be clashing as well, because they do square, but you know what I'm saying? Um, Uranus, Uranus is at home in Aquarius, and it's exalted in Scorpio, so, I mean, I feel like that those two energies can very, they understand each other very well on a, on a, on a positive aspect, or they can, like, play, like, mental chess with each other. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it'll definitely teach us that we got to get out of that comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? While Uranus is in Taurus, I feel like uh, it'll teach us a lot, you know, about, like, getting out of that comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? So even while it's retrograde, it should probably, like, be even more amplified. You know what I'm saying? If you've been in the comfort zone in certain areas, like, it's definitely going to teach you. To, like, it's not, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Uranus isn't going to play that. So like I said, it's going to bring you. It's going to bring change to your life. It's going to bring it. You know what I'm saying? Which is going to be good, you know, because we all need to uh, expand and grow and to get out of comfort zones, you know? Um yeah but then um so yeah you know like this is really going to be like teaching us to go with the flow right um I feel like you know intuition your higher self like that's that's big on like going with the flow or like you know one of the ways you really tap into that is going with the flow right so this is definitely going to be teaching us to go with the flow and uh, one of the other things is like you know um because it's like Uranus deals with like the unexpected, you know what I'm saying? And that's not really comfortable, you know, like if you can't expect things. Um, so we definitely got to learn how to expect the unexpected, you know, like to, we're going to have to learn to practice that, you know what I'm saying? Or to kind of um, how to adapt, you know, or how to quickly adapt. Like, okay, Uranus brought change. Now, how do we adapt to that? You know, so we're definitely going to be cultivating this skill in ourselves if we haven't um, been doing this like throughout our lives already, right? And then, um, yeah, you know. So I think like one of the biggest things as well that this transit is going to teach us, like Uranus and Taurus, uh, you know, Taurus is at home in Venus and stuff like that. So I feel like one of the biggest things we're kind of already seeing that is like, you know, true beauty lies within. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this is going to be one of the biggest themes, you know, like true beauty lies within being yourself. You know, true beauty lies within being an individual. Like that's what the, um, that's probably where you're going to like start getting like, um, Reaping like your 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 um, what you have sown, you know, like uh, Uranus will, will uh, benefit you, you know, if it sees you uh, truly being an individual, you know, it will truly start giving you opportunities, truly start giving you more, and uh, opening you up to new different things and stuff like that, right? Because yeah, this is gonna bring like a lot of internal change, right? <clears throat> you know, this transit it's gonna bring like a lot of internal change, you know, that's gonna be one of the biggest things as well. Yeah, like internal change to see like the, but we have to go through the internal change to see the external, right? You know, we got to uh, change ourselves as an individual so we can actually see it in our reality on the external, right? Um, and I mean, there's, there's a lot of uh, different energies in the air, you know what I'm saying? We just had the um, full moon in Aquarius, which, you know, kind of um, really electrified that individualistic energy uh, in ourselves, you know, if we were uh, on the right side of the energies and stuff like that, or even if we weren't, um, we need to go through those things to, um, all right, now now we know. So now we're going to, you know what I'm saying? We know we weren't doing something right, you know, so now we can 
grow and expand, you know what I'm saying? Because we all got to go through certain things in order to, you know what I'm saying, uh, expand and grow. And now we know. So it's like we're aware of that and we can move on, you know, and do better the next time and stuff like that. Because, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We just had, the, you know, all the Lionsgate portals and stuff like that, which, I mean, if we did go through those portals, you know what I'm saying, that, that was definitely an accelerated form of... Um, ascension and like transformation like big transformation accelerated transformation for the better you know what i'm saying it's always it's always gonna be for the better it's all about how you perceive these things you know if you're gonna perceive it as being bad um it's probably gonna be you're not gonna get the most out of things right um, yeah big time on personal freedom you know what i'm saying um personal freedom is gonna be one of the biggest things as well um like i said you know dealing with uranus and like that 11th house energy is really gonna be teaching us like because like the 11th house can kind of deal with the unknown uh, dealing with Uranus and stuff like that, like I said, so it's going to be big on like bringing the unknown to the known. I uh, I know Aquarius, like that's the mo mantra for or the um, affirmation for Aquarius. I know, you know what I'm saying. So bringing the unknown to the known, making it known for you. Now you know, I know Aquarius, and then like expressing that, you know what I'm saying. So now now we can uh, be that. Now we can be that change. Now we can be our true individual self and express it. You know, the opposite of Aquarius, ex uh, self expression. You know what I'm saying. Expressing our true individuality and stuff like that. Um, so that's, that's, you know, one of the biggest things that I feel like will help us out during this time. One of the things we'll be feeling, um, cause yeah, you know what I'm saying? Definitely, uh, trusting your higher self, like your higher self will definitely lead you, you know what I'm saying? So this is a big time to get in tune with your higher self, like there's so much uh, energy in the air to help us, um, to, um, best get with those energies, you know what I'm saying? To best align ourselves with our higher self. And then, um. I mean, Uranus is going to be um, the good, one of the good things. Is like it's going to be sextiling Venus and Cancer, right? You know, Venus and Cancer. This is like, you know, like the things we're going to be loving and appreciating, um, and just like you know, like our creative energy and like um, things like that um, is definitely going to be about like, um, like. Uh, the water energy, cardinal, cardinal water, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of feelings and emotions to these things. Um, definitely a lot of care energy, you know what I'm saying? Like well, whatever we're um, dealing with, you know, in terms of like uh, what we're relating to at this time, like it can be creativity or like I said, whatever things we're loving and appreciating and really uh, valuing at this time and stuff like that. Um, we'll definitely be trying to relate to that in a more um, caring way or, you know, we'll definitely be more open to, um, relating to things, you know what I'm saying? And we'll definitely be trying to have like a more emotional connection with these things. Um, you know what I'm saying? Dealing with the, our relations, things we're relating to, relationships of all types, you know, it doesn't just have to be like sexual relationships and stuff like that. You know, just relationships in general, you know what I'm saying? With people, you know, we're trying to like hear people out, care for people, trying to help people in a very uh, caring energy, you know what I'm saying? We may find ourselves, you know, even like wanting to cook a lot more, things like that, like very like motherly type energy, you know what I'm saying? Just wanting to take care of people, I said just being very open with that energy, right? Like I said, it's going to be sextiling um, Uranus, you know? So this is going to be like, I feel like it's going to bring like a lot of open-mindedness when it comes to like the things that we're relating to, a lot of open-mindedness when it comes to like relationships, you know, like I said, we'll be more open to the relationships and stuff like that, you know, things probably won't upset us as much. Like I said, we'll be more in a listening, listening energy, uh, you know, like I said, intuition is probably going to be going crazy, you know what I'm saying, dealing with... Um, Venus and Cancer, sextile and Uranus, um, you know what I'm saying, a Taurus, like, intuition is a very important time, I feel like, you know, to listen to your intuition and uh, write down a lot of the messages that we're getting during this time, you know what I'm saying, because I feel like our intuition will be super heightened and illuminated, you know, during these times, and even like with creative endeavors, you know what I'm saying, very open-minded with our creative endeavors, if we've been having like uh, creative blocks or just like blocks, maybe even like with dreams and stuff like that, um, I feel like, you know, there's a lot of energy in the air to kind of help us out with that. You know, like we'll be super open-minded during this time. Our minds will be super expanded during this time. And we'll just have a more easier time, you know, going with the flow of our creative energies um, and stuff like that. Our relationships, things we're relating to. Um, yeah, we're definitely trying to improve on these areas, you know, expand on these areas. Uh, bring a very innovative energy to these uh, areas uh, in our life, you know what I'm saying? Uh, even like financially, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it can be... Uh, it can bring a lot of opportunities financially if we're going with the flow and being very open-minded and not like super important to not put yourself in boxes like Uranus energy. It's, it's uh, if you're going to put yourself in a box in any type of way, it's it's, it's going to be that much harder. You know what I'm saying? But if you be more open-minded and uh, just go with the flow, like I said, you know, Venus can deal with like financial issues and abundance and stuff like that. So it's like, 
yeah, you know what I'm saying? Definitely, it's definitely a time to like tap into that energy. But if we've been having financial issues and stuff like that, then, um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it can bring a lot of opportunity to us, you know, if we're on the right side of this energy. So definitely try to ride the wave, you know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, you know, expect the unexpected. That's one of the biggest things as well. Don't miss things, you know what I'm saying? Like, because things may come in very left field type ways and we may miss things. So definitely it's an important time to ground yourself. Uh, you know, get that meditation going. Like I said, you already know about that esoteric 360. Like I said, you can catch everything that's coming in your space and stuff like that, or everything that the universe, your high self, uh, guides, angels are bringing to you during this time, or other people in general. Uh, messages can come from all types of different people, or opportunities can come from many different areas, and we'll probably find that uh, energy more so in the air. Like, man, that, that, that opportunity came from, I didn't expect that at all, or that came from, you know, that, that hit me in a really different way. I've never been... I'm saying I never really had opportunities come like that before, you know. Um, so yeah, definitely like don't be too dense during this time. Super important, like to be real light and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like I said, don't, don't put yourself in any type of boxes and stuff like that, right? Um, but yeah, you know, that kind of covers you know everything that I kind of want to talk about with this transit and stuff like that. Like I said, super important, you know, to kind of know what the transits are, um, so we can we can ride these transits and uh, get the best out of them. You know what I'm saying? Use these. How we want to use them so we're not just being hit in uh, bad angles, you know, to where we're just getting crushed by these things and not uh, reaping the things that we should, you know, or getting what we truly deserve and stuff like that, right? Um, so, yeah, I mean, I hope everybody's doing good out there. It's a Venus day, you know, very beautiful. So it's like, um, I hope everybody's doing good, you know. I mean? if, if you're not, I'm sending all you guys some strength and stuff like that because, uh, yeah, you know, you got what it takes, you know what I'm saying? You're super powerful. You know, anything you're going through is, is, is for a reason, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, the reasons, you know, like I tell myself, you know, is I, I, I put myself through that, you know what I'm saying? That reason is me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so just know that whatever, you, if you are going through something, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it's all going to be good, you know what I'm saying? You're going through certain things to help you grow and expand and learn. And you just got to look at it as a, like a lesson, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah, I'll be back again. Uh, like I said, sending all, all you guys some love, uh, some positive energy and stuff like that, some strength. Um, so, yeah, let's get, let's get with these energies, right? Uh, until I'm back again, you know, peace, signing out.